Woman posts beach photo, realizes she showed too much when cruisers show up. A vacation is exactly what she needed. A bit of swimming and plenty of sun in Hawaii was exactly what the doctor ordered. The sand felt amazing under her feet, and the warm breeze was perfect. She snapped a photo and posted it on social media. It wasn't long until a police cruiser showed up. Everyone has felt cabin fever at one point or another, especially during COVID. And with travel rules lifting, people are ready to get out and have some fun. This was the case for Eliza Alder of Arizona. She savored the exciting jitters as she flew to Honolulu. She wrote about her coming vacation on social media and pressed send. The taxi pulled up to her accommodations, and she lugged out her massive suitcase. There weren't many people around, only a few neighbors looking out their windows. But what Alder didn't see was how they were looking at her strangely, and a bit upset. The following day called her to the beach where she enjoyed hours of swimming. She smiled at the long stretch of sand that was emptier than it would have normally been. It was like having a personal beach. It also made for excellent photos. As the days passed, her money started to run out. But she wasn't ready to go home yet. Alder searched around for anyone offering to hire. The pickings were slim but one fast food restaurant gave her a shot. It was perfect, burgers during the day and partying in the evening. One night, after coming home, a neighbor stepped out and pointed at her. You're not from around here, they said. Obviously, she replied. Why are you here, they asked. Alder rolled her eyes and went inside. It was none of their business. Where was the famously warm island hospitality? Jerk, she thought. However, every time she left, the person would be staring out the window at her. It was just another beautiful day for her as she went out to her favorite spot. Should send out another picture, she thought and posed for the camera. There were a few choice people back home that would be totally jealous. She snapped another. Out of the corner of her eye, she saw someone walking close. It better not be those horrible neighbors. She looked around and saw two policemen walking towards her. Alder stood there, shocked and motionless. Seriously? What had she done? Excuse me, ma'am. When did you get here? Only a few hours ago, she answered, confused. No. Not the beach. When did you fly in? Alder shook her head, trying to bring the information to the front of her mind. A few weeks ago. The policeman took a step closer. We need to see your passport. Her eyes turned bigger. I don't have it on me right now. Alder found herself in the back of the police car. A quick stop to her place to get her documents, and then she found herself sitting at someone's desk. They had the same look as her neighbor. The police officer looked at the passport stamp and said, you ignored the quarantine rule. You're under arrest. What? Alder sat there, mouth hanging open. She tried to argue back, but the officer said, you were told multiple times that you have to go on a two-week self-lockdown after you arrived. She said, yes, I heard. But I'm not sick. The officer replied, it doesn't matter. Those are the travel rules in Hawaii right now. It wasn't long until Alder found herself behind bars. What happened? Aside from ignoring the state's strict travel rules, her neighbors had noticed her coming in and leaving the very next days just after her initial arrival. But that wasn't the nail in the figurative coffin. The young woman had sealed her fate on her own. All the photos she had snapped, posted, and tagged had proved she ignored the self-quarantine rule. The back and forth between her and the police got heated. But in the end, it was simply a matter of the rules are for everyone and the girl acted as if she was exempt. She was charged with violation of the state rules and unsworn falsification to authorities. The fact that she was functioning in a job during the time made things worse. Her bail was set at $2,000. Even the state attorney general, Claire Connors, spoke up and warned that the measures in place were there to protect everyone's health. Hawaii currently has 647 infections and 17 that have passed away. It might not seem like a large number, but when you factor in the size of the area and the tourism industry, it's no wonder that they are being extra careful. 
there are no new details about her case.